Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Talks and Tips. Today we're going to tell you about the foods that can help you boost your immune system. Yes, that is what we're going to do today. Okay, now we are in this COVID-19 era that we don't even know when we are going to come out of this, it's just like we are killed with this, we are with this forever. We die with this. We don't know when we are going to come out of this. But you have a lot to do to protect yourself. I mean you have a lot to do to protect yourself. Okay, Guys, let me tell you what happens. When your body comes down with this virus okay, or any infection whatsoever, your body sees there's an antibody that has come in contact with the body. The release of immune cells, the immune phagocytes, the monocytes, their work is to destroy the debris, the viruses, and anything. Their work is to fight. They are the, they are the AK 47 our body has, they are the weapons of war our body has, they are the knife our body has to fight it. Okay, so they equip it. If your immune system is strong enough, you will win. And when you win, the, the virus or the infection will die off. You won't come down with it again. But what happens when they win you? Now you come down with it, you start having fever and every other thing that comes with it. Okay, so now that is where we are obliged to do our part to keep our body safe, build our immune system. Okay, besides the normal thing that we know about preventing COVID 19, washing of hands frequently, wearing your face mask, maintaining social distancing, there are other things that we really have to do to protect ourselves. We have to boost our immune system. We have to, you can take supplements, you can eat food. There are foods that are within our reach that can help you to boost your immune system, guys. So that is what we are advocating today. So I'm going to tell you food that can help you boost your immune system. Watch as we go on. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. First one is citrus fruit. Okay. Have you wondered why so many people run to vitamin C when they come in contact with cold or flu? This is because vitamin C helps to boost your immune system. Vitamin C also helps to increase white blood cells that help to fight against infection. Okay, so almost all citrus fruit contain vitamin C. Samples which are oranges, tangerines, grapes, lemons, limes. Okay, these are examples of citrus fruit high in vitamin C. Our body does not store vitamin C. So you have to eat to be able to have enough vitamin C in your body. Okay, so 75 mg is recommended for women, 90 mg is recommended for men. So what if you opt to take supplements, need 2000 mg of food per day. Okay, the next one is red blood pepper. If you think citrus fruit has enough vitamin C, then you have to think again. You've not thought about red bell peppers. Red bell peppers contain twice as much vitamin C as citrus, okay? So the red bell peppers contain beta carotene, which is an antioxidant, okay? So it helps to boost your immune system. They help to keep your eyes and your skin healthy. So you really need to consume red bell peppers. The next one is garlic. Garlic is found in almost every cuisine in the world. Its immune system properties come from, comes from a high concentration of sulfur containing compound known as allicin. Okay, so garlic is a must have for your health. If you don't use garlic, you have to start using garlic now because there are so many benefits that come to garlic. Now, early civilization has found out that garlic is powerful in fighting against infection. It reduces hardening of arteries. There's an evidence that it helps in reduction of blood pressure, okay? So you really have to consume garlic. The next one is almond. Almond is fortified with vitamin E. Vitamin E helps to fight against infection. It helps to boost your immune system. It helps to prevent cold. It helps to prevent flu, okay? And an adult, you need 15 mg of vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, which means that it requires the presence of fat to be able to be absorbed. Okay? So almond is highly fortified with vitamin E, and we advise that you take almond in order to boost your immune system. Another one is papaya. Papaya is another food loaded with vitamin C. 
papaya has a pain which is a digestive enzyme helps you digest food okay so uh, apart from vitamin c papaya contains phosphorus magnesium potassium and folate they help to boost your immune system they help to increase the white blood cells which help to fight against infection kiwi Apart from papaya, kiwi also contains other essential nutrients like potassium, vitamin K, vitamin C, and folate. So why vitamin C helps to fight against infection by increasing the white blood cell count. Other essential nutrient helps to boost your immune system and helps your body to function properly. Coffee. Coffee such as chicken and turkey contain vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is an important player that helps in the chemical reaction that happens in your body. It's also vital for the formation of new and healthy red blood cells. About 3 ounces of turkey and chicken contains nearly one third of your recommended vitamin B6 in a day. Okay. Then if you decide to pour this poultry and drink the broth, they contain the gelatin and the chondrotin which helps in your immune cells and this poultry does not just contain protein, they also contain vitamin bases which help to boost your immune system. Shellfish. So many people are trying to boost their immune system. I know shellfish is not one of the things that they think about first. Okay, but it contains zinc, which is very good in boosting your immune system. Okay, zinc is an is an essential nutrient, meaning that you, your body cannot store it. So, meaning that you have to get it from food. You are required to um, consume the recommended intake and are expected to consume more of it. 8 mg is recommended for female, while 11 mg is recommended for male. Some shellfish like oyster, mussels, crabs and lobster are high in zinc. So you would want to consume more of this in order to get the recommended zinc intake. Green tea is next. Green tea and black tea are packed with flavonoids, which is an antioxidant. Both of them contain EGCG, which is epidolocachetin. Okay, so during the production of um, black tea, the epidolocachetin is destroyed in the fermentation process. Whereas in the green tea, it's not being fermented, it just steams. So it retains more of the epidolocachetin EGCG, so which makes it more better than um, than black tea in immune function okay so green tea can be very helpful when it comes to boosting your immune system it's also a good source of the amino acid L-theanine this L-theanine helps in the production of gem vitamin compound in your T cells spinach spinach contains vitamin C it's very good but when it comes to immune function okay in order for this to retain its healthiest nutrient it has to be cooked as little as possible so spinach also contains um, antioxidants and beta carotene which helps to increase the infection fighting ability of your immune system